is breaking news from KSL. Good evening. We begin with breaking news tonight. A small southern Utah town has been told to prepare to evacuate this after a break in a dam that flows into Panguitch from Panguitch Lake. Yeah, news specialist Debbie Worthen following this closely for us tonight. Debbie, really, how serious of a situation are we talking about here? Well, Mike and Deanie, it escalated this evening. Now, yesterday they noticed that there was a crack in the top portion of the dam, that two feet at the top. That's an add-on, but tonight there is concern that the main dam could break. Now, if that happens, we're told half of Panguitch Lake could end up in the town of Panguitch. Well, we all know how big a gallon is. This is a gallon jug. Well, how much water is in Panguitch Lake? Well, half of it, that would be four billion gallons of water. That water flowing through the dam, seen from Chopper 5, is not good. When they come up, we've noticed that there's some transverse cracking across the dam. That was Monday night. Sergeant Tom Talbot spent Tuesday on lookout. It's still cold up here. The lake sits at 8,200 feet. Right now, the top of it is still a solid two feet of ice. Officials believe that ice and strong winds are what caused the first break in the top of the dam. The dam was built in the late 1800s. It stands 24 feet high. The top of the dam, that's an add-on, and that's where the initial problem appeared. There's an upper portion of the dam that has sustained some damage from the ice. As of Tuesday night, the main dam could be compromised too. Highway 143 is closed at Panguitch up to the lake. County officials are now telling the town they're in a level two emergency situation, which means prepare for possible evacuation. They say residents should stay informed, have an evacuation plan, and have emergency kits ready with food, water, medication, and important documents. And finally, inform others. While they're hoping the dam stays intact, they are erring on the side of caution, trying to lower the lake level without flooding the Severe River but knowing this could be a long spring with feet of snow still sitting in the mountains. Now, I just got off the phone with city officials. They say that there has not been any additional movement or cracking in the last couple of hours, so that's some good news. But tonight, they have crews there. They have engineers. They are looking at all scenarios, and they're brainstorming ways to fix what already has happened. Now, if that main dam does break, it wouldn't just be bad news for flooding now. It could be serious news for the summer when it comes to irrigation. Back to you. That is a lot of water. So unnerving, I'd imagine, for a number yeah. of the residents. All right, we'll keep on top of it. Debbie, thank you.